Hello guys, this is Admiral Awesome and welcome back to The Walking Dead Episode 1, Part 2. On the last episode, we shot a cop in the head and stole and kidnapped the little girl. Now we're going to try to do the getaway in the cover of darkness. You'll notice that I stopped talking to this, but is that because my mic arm is slowly falling down. Being professional. Okay, my leg. My leg walk very slowly. Nice pull. I'm gonna pull my mic arm a little back. Don't fall. I'm gonna buy a new mic arm. To the gate. Press the gate button. Come on. Go. Come on. Walk. Walk, Lee. Just walk to the gate. Need to move the story along. Lots of cars have been ransacked. Society falls so fast. I found the bastard! And we're already being shot at. Are we going to die? No. No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that! Please. We're friendly! There's a little girl here! The trooper heard that. Well, I oh, hope shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. Hello, Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Um, a lot of them in the fort. Well, I've been... No. I've been sleeping inside the tree no, house. No, not for a while. I heard Looks like you leave. cut the shit out of yourself. My leg, yeah. It's hurt pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix that your leg car too. behind. I'm not a dad. You um, doesn't have a wheel. Just some guy. Some look, guy. Look at that green card. Yeah. Doesn't have a wheel arch. She's alone. Let's show it again. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. No. We just <laughs> okay, zombies. Oh shit! It's Chad. With that green let's card. Let's go. Get go. to my car. Go. I want to see that green car again. It doesn't have a wheel or a wheel arch. It's a block of steel. I guess. Oh, they're not going to show it again. That's a pity. Hmm, the moon looks very pretty. Man, I look dirty. Blood, sweat, all on my shirt. I thought the game for a second, I'm like, what? Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Oh, he looks sad. Take care, you two. Bye, Officer Mitch. Was it Andrew? I forgot. I forget. Thank I God forgot. you're okay. I don't know which one's dramatic. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. The green. Reckon down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and uh, Chet. He got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Yep. Glad he could be a help to somebody. <laughs> so it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Do you? Do you really? Okay, then. Well, 
Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Oh, Sean, you. run on in and check on your sister. For sure. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Her show's a lot skinnier in the game than in the, the TV show. I wonder why the, the Let's have a look. games made that decision to make yeah. her show actually really this skinny. This is swollen to hell. Not really fat like Keith in the TV show. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? I didn't. But it's the. But I'm gonna. But I'm gonna press. I, I didn't. didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? The fellow car is going to jump in a fence. I don't remember the car accident. I'm going to be honest. Car accident. On this That's playthrough so. of the game. Where are you headed before the car accident? Oh, just out of, out of no. Well, I can't be 100% honest. I was getting saying. out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. Well, we hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. You. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. She's not my daughter. Here. I thought we went over this. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. The night. The night. Oh, I never slept in a barn, so I can't believe you this scene. It smells like... Shit. Yeah, oh, there it is. Shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Yep. Yep, it was. I miss my mom and dad. I bet you do, little girl. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? I have no Pretty idea. Pretty far. Oh. Is Savannah okay. really a real place. I guess it is, because it's a common name. But there's a bunch of Salvanas scattered around the United States. I love you, baby. <laughs> 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 and sleeping. Hey, get up. <sighs> uh, it's not shine. Uh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Ducking. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! <laughs> See? <laughs> I love little... The word is, you course. were on your way to Macon. Well, well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along, maybe. Let's just see how things go. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I just remembered something while I was listening to that conversation. 
um, the age of Clementine becomes very, very, very important on the fifth episode. So, I'm not going to tell you what her age is, you but you guys pretty hair. should remember. It gets lots of tangles. Be sure to check with everybody you meet so far. I will, I will, but I'm going to explain. Go back to episode one, part one, in Clementine's house. You'll find out how old she is. Remember that, and it becomes very important on episode five. I'm going to talk to these girls. Hey there, girls. Uh, you two actually look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Dialogue oh, heavy. Uh, how is that? It's easy. So well, if you yeah. want to skip to the zombie killing. So you're good? And not want to anyway, hear all this story. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah, it's very peaceful. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, ah, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I'm used to it. Yeah, no, I used, used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How, was this How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? No, because zombies are cool. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. Yeah. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Yes, we talked enough. Now we gotta go talk to Kenny. Who's at his pickup truck right there. Get up there. Talk. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. No, thank you. Do you need it. any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nope. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. I, I'm sure I will. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. All right, go to here. One more. Line. So, what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat. I guess. You've got a boat. And have them I'm a commercial there. fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Have you ever seen See a you. zombie swimming? You gotta head down to Cuba, dude, man. Dudes, man. Man dudes. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go to the tractor. Get stuck in a tree. First, now head down to the track it. tractor. Uh, talk to Duck. Wave at Duck. Now talk to him. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Talk to Sean. Sean's still working on that fence. 
<laughs> I can see that, Lee. Hey, Lee. Need any hand? Need a Need hand. hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Alright. Cut, cut, cut. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he uh, doesn't. Train. Hello, train. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Train outside. In my apartment. I think it's gone now. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yeah, I killed a little of the babysitter by the poor girl's brain in it. Yep. That bastard. Poor girl's brain's in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and that thinks inviting people is in is a bigger message, threat than definitely. whatever's out there. You'll know why soon. How about yours? How's your family? Um, my parents are in makeup, my brother. My brother and parents are in makeup. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Right. I'm sorry about your friend. Oh yeah, his friend. Thanks. I'm I appreciate it, man. I completely forgot. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alrighty. Can I talk to you one more time? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Still need a hand? I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? Alright. You know how to drive it? Nope. Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Let's go... talk to Herschel. Hello, Herschel. Well, that's an awful leer. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot, I got a ride. I was on my way out anyway. I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan yeah, sure. having a place like this. I enjoy it. It was in the family. Your dialogue. Yes, so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up okay. to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Why does Why? everybody Girlfriend? keep asking me that? Parents in Mako, for God damn it! My parents are in Macon, with my they're brother. Macon, not Mako. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, yep. is it? You just yep. stumbled up on her? Yep, that's her name. I, apparently I was looking for help in her house. I was being attacked. Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you That's a, piece a sign of, advice? of things to come in episode two? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Look up. And now the action begins again. Go! I'll get my gun! After like 10 minutes of just dialogue. I have a choice to save Sean or Duck. I'm gonna save Sean because Duck's father's right there and he probably can do it. Off of me! Oh, gotta push this out of the way. They're coming, man! They're coming! I'll try to pull you out! 
there's Duck's father. I got you. Kenny, help Lee. Kenny! Coward. Uh, I can grab a two by four. <laughs> Oh. I'm guessing that didn't help. Curse ah! was always a good shot. Grabbing the jaw on that last, on that third one. I'm okay, one. Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, <laughs> it almost got me. They tried to man. save me. I know, son. I. Uh... That blood animation is not good. Not up to the standard of the the main characters' animations. Yes, we're having a moment of silence for Sean. Now, member, a moment of anger. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. That's my fault. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends aren't cowards. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Alright, alright. Do I have to go from the coward? There's no way you're leaving this farm and far, Kenny. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. You you actually have no choice. You have to take that ride. Come here, Kenny. <laughs> 